Okay, these are the original Redmi Air Dots which were released in China and I had bought them on AliExpress. These sound pretty good, sound, uh, they're well, well balanced, I can wear them inside my helmet and I kind of use them regularly on a daily basis. And in a tragic turn of events where my stupidity definitely played a role, I lost the charging case. I like these enough that I went ahead and bought another pair of buds because no one was selling charger on, uh, on its own. Uh, the new buds, these sh sounded like dark <laughs> So what I did was I just chucked these headphones and I started using the old headphones with the new charger case. And yeah, I, I lost the new charging case as well. So at this point, I was left with two pairs of earbuds and no charging case to charge them. I either had to buy another pair of buds or make my own charger. So yeah, that's how I went with making my own charger. There were two parts I had to figure out. One, the electronics, the actual charging functionality of a charging case. And two, designing and printing the actual case. Let's start with the hard part, the case. The case was hard because one, I am an amateur at 3D modeling. Two, the buds needed to be measured accurately. And it was hard to measure them because of their unconventional and complex shape and also all the curved surfaces. The charging pads on the bottom of the earbuds has to align perfectly with the charging pins and the charging holes. So it had to be accurate up to 0.5 millimeters or even better. Speaking of charging pins, these charging pins are spring-loaded. Most of the cases use these kind of pins. They have a tiny spring at the top of them. These are so freaking hard to buy. I tried to buy locally and it was not available anywhere. I had only one option which would be uh, importing them from China or some other place, which would take another two to three weeks. So I thought I will salvage these charging pins from another extra smartwatch charger I had. So I was able to get the charging pins from the watch charger and I also found uh, good magnets which would be necessary in this case too. The case would be in three different parts. The bottom part would hold all the battery, the electronics and the charging port. The middle part would hold the actual buds, the cavity for the actual buds and the magnets to, so that they can snap in place and on the charging pins as well. And the third would be the top part. Top part was just a cover on top so that it can be covered and you know. First, I designed and printed the bottom part after measuring the dimensions of the battery and all the electronics uh, it was supposed to hold. Uh, it was pretty simple. The first version was pretty good to go. Coming to the middle part, this is where it got a little complex. Uh, the buds, as I mentioned, had a complex shape and I had to get all the measurements very accurately. And the first version looked pretty good. But then I realized that the charging holes on the right ear bud were off by 1.3 millimeters. So I quickly rectified and printed version 2. V2 initially looked good. The charging pads aligned with the charging holes properly. The buds fit in their place uh, perfectly. But I realized that it was almost impossible to pick the buds out of the case because the cavities were too deep. So I had to remove like 0.5 millimeters of uh, the top layer from uh, the middle part to make it more ergonomic so that uh, we, can, we could reach in with the fingers and uh, remove it out. So I had to redesign V2 and make all the changes. And then happened V3. V3 was pretty much perfect. So it took three iterations to get to a almost perfect part. So it was time to test fit the charging pins and the magnets and see how the earbuds held in place and see if the magnetic strength was enough. And so I started. I also printed uh, these very small inserts which would hold the spring loaded pins in place and also there were sockets for the magnets. As I was doing a test fit, I ended up breaking three of the four spring loaded pins and I did not have any replacements. Uh, these pins were very fragile and I just <laughs> probably went Hulk on them. 
the only option I had was to order them and wait for a couple of weeks for the new ones to arrive. So that's what I did. Lo and behold, after three weeks, the new ones arrive and it said they were made in Switzerland, which was super surprising uh, considering most of the stuff is made in China. Now I could say made in India with parts from Switzerland. <laughs> no, it sounds nice. So once the new pins arrived, I uh, designed a new insert for the new pins. This time I made sure that the magnets were closer to the pins so that uh, the buds, there would be more uh, force on the buds uh, and surprisingly everything worked really well. Uh, even the first test fit worked and then once I made sure that this design would work, I used this T7000 glue to hold these inserts in place and at this point I was pretty much done with the middle uh, case part and I just had to connect the uh, leads uh, to the output of the charging circuit. Speaking of the charging circuit, charging circuit and the electronics was the most simple part of this project. The buds needed 5 volts to charge and they handled all the Bluetooth connections on their own so the buds case didn't have to do much. And so I just have had to build a 5 volts charging circuit. For the battery I just went with an old Nokia smartphone battery which I had lying around and I needed a charger and protection board which could charge the battery and protect it from undervolting itself or over discharging itself and also it had an indicator LED to show when the charging was complete. Then I needed a step up circuit which would step up the lithium ion voltage which is usually around 3.9 to 4.2 volts to 5 volts. So these were the three pieces in electronics and I hooked them up quickly and soldered everything together. Uh, I replaced the LEDs on the charging and uh, protection board with an RGB LED uh, so that I could plug it, it, plug it in, uh, into the charging case and the charging indicator would be visible. I also removed the power LED on the stepper board so that uh, there is some energy can be conserved because it is always on and it will be wasting energy constantly. At this point the electronic circuit was done. I soldered the uh, charging leads to the output of the step-up circuit and it was done. Uh, the middle part and the bottom part came together, the buds uh, were charging and everything was great. At this point I was just left with designing and printing the top cover so I quickly designed a top cover and it's been working great. Um, I have been using these buds for almost two to two and a half weeks now and I still haven't had to charge the case yet. Uh, as per my calculations I should get around 15 to 20 uh, charges on my buds which is really good. This project took quite a while to finish but at the end I'm quite happy with the result and yeah this is pretty much a replacement for the original case. Uh, no deficiencies at all and actually it can charge the buds many more times. The only deficiency I could find is that this is probably like two and a half times the volume of the original case. I'll leave the 3D models for all the parts I designed in the comment section so that you can download and use them if you want. And yeah, uh, we are at the end of this video. Hope you liked the video. Uh, give the video a like if you liked it. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. See you guys in the next one.